Hey, what's up guys? This is Steve here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the stuff that I mentioned in the previous video. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. Um, so my final thing just came this morning before work, but I had to go to work so I didn't have time to make a video. And then the big package, which I showed in the previous video, what I did with Rugo with the news, uh, I've had that for like maybe a week or so and I still haven't opened it. So I'm pretty excited to get to open in a box, the stuff here. Um, the first thing is the SKE singles for Ikenari Punchline. Um, yeah, a few things. Well, I'm unboxing it. I guess I would have to say is I couldn't get Ikenari Punchline on Amazon Japan. So because you know Avex has their stupid restriction region restrictions that they like, started enforcing, I don't even know when, because I remember the, I got um, Mushiki no Iro in the beginning of the year perfectly fine from Amazon Japan, and then all of a sudden, the restrictions that ABEX were saying they were implanting last year, apparently they took, they went into effect. So I couldn't get it from Amazon Japan, and then I tried to get it through Baiyi, through Amazon Japan, but they said uh, these items have a restriction, so I couldn't get it through Bai. So that essentially just beamlined me to CD Japan, which I don't really use that much anymore because the shipping for CD Japan is a lot more expensive than if I did with Amazon Japan. So yeah, I had to go to Bai, not Bai, CD Japan. Yeah singles and I'm actually really surprised that they have like um, the photo cards from CD Japan for it as an external bonus because I not only Amazon and a few other real like re 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 realtors jeez I cannot talk uh, did this because I don't remember getting one for when I bought Mirai Towa uh, then again that was when Mirai Towa was like years already out but so the uh, so the photo card for getting at the CD Japan is Sue. Oh my God! Every, I get her name mixed up every single time. Sue Naga. Yeah, Sue Naga. Uh, Sue Naga. <laughs> this is so bad. I should be remembering. SKE names, but her name is always just like escapes my head, and I got two of them because CD Japan. And here it is both my types and copies of Ikenari Punchline. I got types B and D. Uh, I got type B because it has the Team K2 song on it, and I got type D. Which is the subunit, well, I think it's a subunit, anyways, it's a little small group of B. La Vier. It has um, Arayuki in it. So basically, my purchase type, my purchase types were just around which songs Arayuki was in. And plus, I had to get team, team K2s, anyways, because, you know, K2 is essentially my favorite team out of all the 48 groups. So now I have to, okay, this one's type D and this one's type E. And I got. The limited edition ones, because if I remember saying, because I didn't do an unboxing when I did Mushiki no Iro, I believe, but when I did um, for um, Igaini Mango, I was really disappointed because I was expecting to get photo cards because I didn't get the limited edition SKEs, because usually in AKB, when you get the normal editions, you get photo cards with the normal editions, and it so happened that SKE, it's the exact opposite, where the limited editions come with photo cards, and the regular editions come with, I don't, I don't know what the regular editions came with, I forget. But this is Type B. I actually really like the red uh, CD jackets here, because red is my favorite color if you don't, if you don't know that already, so I already like this. And with Jirino being the center, it's good, but like, if I had to be honest, as an SKE fan that I am, although I'm not like, a very super like hardcore knowing like everyone but just as an SKE fan definitely uh, Ikenari Punchline isn't I would have to say one of the better songs because 
if I think of like SK songs, it's more like the earlier songs to the more recent, like compared to the other major single songs, you know, your punchline is kind of like meh in terms. Um, so the actual CD jacket is just plain straight up red. That's fine. And then the B side is white. Now, who am I going to get is a photo card for the first one. Let's see. Oh, is that Kaho? I'm, I'm happy. Sato Kaho. I got a photo card. If you guys don't know, Sato Kaho is one of my favorite 8th gen members and that's like one of the things that was kind of sad because you no, know, I was looking forward to Kaho in the single in the music video, but then, as you guys already know, if you've seen the music video, the music video is just um, Jarena and friends. Where it's just it's just mainly all Jarena. Like I I didn't even get a chance to even see Kaho in the music video, and I was trying to look for. Her. But like at first, when I first heard it during the Sosenkyo. Uh, the concert before this was Sankyo, I'm like, hey, this kind of reminds me of the Chicken Line vibes because of the Latino uh, music style. But just overall, after like, eh, it's a very meh song. And this is a Type D's cover. This is the one with my favorite song from the single on it. It is Otana no Sakai from B. Javier. No, B. Oh, the photo card already dropped. Jesus, I just opened it up. Anyways, who is it? Uh, who is it? I'm hating myself. I don't know why. Delicious team take two. Probably not. I don't know why I don't I, I don't know why I can't identify. I feel like is Yahagi Yukina in this? I hate myself, but I really like her red highlights. I don't know if you can see. Oh, you can see the red highlights there. So those are the two photo cards that I got. Once again, just jacket. Uh. I can add this to my collection, at least. And then we're getting to the big, the big box from Amazon, which I got over a week ago. This shouldn't be as hard because Amazon has these things on the sides to open. And this is where the more anticipated stuff I would have to say lies. Oh. Okay, I was not expecting uh, this at all. I opened the box and then there's this big gigantic thing here. And that's going to be the Hero <laughs> Kayaki album. Why did it just come in such a big package? That's kind of like unexpected. I'm going to open that. Am I going to open that last? Mm, not sure, but such a big thing. Oh, but then again, I did order like the Amazon like, exclusive one of the Hiragana Kayaki album, the one that Amazon has, for like five extra dollars, so I'm like, eh, I might as well just get it anyways. But, let's see, is there anything else here? Nope. I don't care about that, but I bought two photo books as well, and I was really excited when they announced these photo books, and photo books now are just, like I was saying in the last video, the Fruko like, it's essentially now like, you're getting a photo book, you're getting a photo book, you're getting a photo book, and you're getting a photo book, because everyone, all these members are just seeming to get photo books now, but these two in particular, I was happy to hear, get photo books, well, technically one second photo book, and that, that would be Nishino Nanase's second photo book, um, no, no, this is first, I thought she already had a photo book that was out. Hmm. Or is that just... <laughs> I thought Nanase already had a photo book. Hmm. I must... 
I don't eat the Erica already had one. Actually, hmm. Whatever. With Watashi, or yeah, Watashi no Koto. Um, I'm about to just open this up and just preview it a little bit. Here is the bookmarks. Well, I call these bookmarks, like I've said in previous unboxing videos. I use these as bookmarks. Really helpful. Just gonna go through this really fast. Oh, and you get a postcard. This is a nice little postcard that came with it. I'm gonna skim through it. I'll go more, look at it more. Later, so far I'm liking what I'm looking. Oh, I'm looking what the, the lingerie section I just scrolled through as well. I'm seeing more like magazine ad ish stuff. Um, quite interesting, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I've seen a photo book like in this structure before where it's sort of like magazine ish at the end. Then again, a photo book or a sashinshu. That's the thing. Because apparently there is a difference. So I'll go more. Photo. Okay, yeah, so this is a photo book. And not a. From what I remember from hearing from Josh Box's explanation, like, there's a difference between a photo book when Japan says a photo book like this with photo book and sashinshu. I believe he said it's more magazine-like, so that's kind of, I understand why it's like that now, so. And then the other one, when I heard that this was coming out, I'm like, instant, I need to get this. But I waited a little bit for some other stuff to come out around this time, and that is Sugai-sama's photo book. Um, Sally Hamaki did a little, I think she did an unboxing stream or something like that, where she was looking inside. And it was really funny to see her reactions. So I'm happy that I'm now going to be able to get some reactions out of this, hopefully. And hopefully I don't, like, smash this stuff open. Like, I don't expect this to be a long unboxing video at all. I think the last one I did ended up being longer than I expected. But that's just fine. Come on. Here we go. This is an actual, what comes with this? Special postcard. So this also comes with a postcard. Uh, one of five kinds by Lucky Man. If I remember, Lucky Man was the one that Abiru Riho's um, photo book publisher was. Interesting. And it's called Fiance on the top. She did this photo book in Paris, and I'm very excited to see quick, just quick glances of this really fast. Looking nice so far. Oh, okay. I've seen some cool, cool shot. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, never mind. Cool shots. So far, it all looks good, because obviously, no, two guys on the is known as like the princess of Keakizaka because she essentially like this one. <laughs> Dad's gotta let him oh mm. like this isn't like what I'm seeing right now. Is there I need another bookmark. Like obviously it's not too like lewd at all, this photo book. Because Keaki doesn't really do like very big rabier things. I feel like Neru when she did that, like once, like a couple pictures in her photo book. Okay, let's see what I got. Sugai Sama riding a horse. I wonder what the other ones were. I think on the back. No. Screw. Bedroom play, lingerie. Still not really like ludish, because there's not really any like. I see any like lewd ish poses. I'm like, oh, <laughs> Maria Nagis and, um, Maria Nagis and Katorena's 
Those photo books. Wow. Amazing photo books. Nonetheless. Okay, there's a little, like, um, interview ish section here. A bit more. Is that her cat? Yes. Overall, looks like a good photo book. I can't wait to actually, like, look in detail these photo books. But now that I have these photo books, but then again, Takashi Juries comes out in like a couple of weeks, if I remember. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get. I'm also gonna get um, Dasu's photo book when that comes out, definitely, because just like the preview shots already from Dasu's is same thing with Takashi Juries. And then we have Onishi Momoka's photo book, but I don't really know if I'm gonna get Onishi's though. I'm not gonna get Ulta Nows, but just these memories just keep on like announcing photo books. Like the next photo book person who's gonna announce the photo book is gonna be like Kojima Maka or Komiyama Haruka. Like I can definitely see them having photo books. But then again, I see like Komi because you know how um, um, Yoshida Akari has like the the makeup bible like photo book things. I could definitely see Komi doing something along the lines of like Instagram because that's like her whole thing there. But yeah, this is the Hiragana Kayaki album. It is taped together. Um, hopefully I can get through this without looking like an idiot. making a mess in my room. Um, yeah, so Kayaki, Hiragana Kayaki's first. Oh god. What happened? Okay. That was weird. I don't know what happened doing the thing. I thought my, like, my computer shut down or something. But I got type B of Hiragana Kayaki's first album. I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, because it's reflecting off, so it's a bit harder to see. Uh, Hashiri das Shukan. Um, I think I have like more than half of the songs that are on these albums because of previous Keiaki singles. Um, wait, oh, this is easier later. I didn't even need a knife. Yeah, so I think this is better. Yeah, it's less reflective. I should say, but the reason I got type B, there's like, I think like two reasons, essentially. Uh, one, red is my favorite color, so, bam. And then, the determining factor was the, the DVD section of this. Um, type A had the video of the Budokan, and I'm like, and, and then I looked up like what songs there were on that, and it's like there wasn't really a, more of a variety. But then Type B, they had like at like Zep shows of here gonna okay, I keep doing it, and there was like more song selections within that. So I decided to get Type B. Plus, the like the members are spread out through each I would have to say um, album cover that I like. The notable ones here, uh, Kyoko. Um, uh, oh my, Takamoto. Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Manamo's on there. Uh, Takase, oh my God, Takase's on there. Takase Mana. Yuchi Mao. She's been really funny recently, but then um, Hiragana Oshi. And uh, I don't know why I can't identify her, but. Open this. Oh. Is, I think, is there something in here? Okay, I'm looking in here because I know that Kanji, they. Within their first album, they had like a hidden word in here, and I can't see anything. That just made me look like an idiot. Uh, this is the lyric. No, wait, this is a mini. Oh, 
Okay, this is like a mini photo book ish thing with each like member, like profile of a member. I don't like Takasemano's profile. He has like, oh god, that's not focusing at all. But anyways, if it's like a birthday and type. So yeah, and then the actual CD in itself. Let's see the jackets. Okay, that's that's quite interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it has like this sort of pattern here that I can't really describe. I've never seen this pattern before. I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of cool. If, like, it would have been a slightly bit better if like maybe like one of these like was like red or something like that. But then no, that's just me being me. Okay, this is. The songs. Ooh, okay. And here's the Blu ray DVD of the concerts. Um, I don't know when I'll be, I'll probably be watching this sometime within the week. So, so yeah. Just a mini. Pickup. It's not the biggest pickup I've had, but it's definitely surely one of the most expensive pickups I've had because of, this was like $46. Getting two SKE singles from CD Japan was freaking $47. Unbelievable. And I guess I can open this. I just hope I can get this back in. I'm quite interested in seeing what poster is. I'm not going to be able to talk to you this. Oh, okay, that, that's really nice. That, that's a really nice poster. I cannot lie about that. I really... Oh, this is rolled up, it's so hard. Poster of Hiragana Kayaki members. Is this what second gen as well? Or is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve? So that's this is of the first gen Hiragana because I don't see any, yeah, because Nedu's in there. So this is just a picture of the first gen Hiragana members when Nedu. Kind of I would expect something with um both well, first and second gen here to get members, but whatever. Um, so yeah, that's my unboxing of this video. I know it was probably a bit longer than I thought it was gonna be with Hiragana Kayaki's first album, Hashiri Das Shukan, oh my god. Um tapes B and D of Ikenari Punchline from SKE. And Nishino Nanase's first photo book, even though it's not like what we consider photo books, essentially. And also Sugayuka's Sugai Sama's first photo book. So I guess I can, I know, I still haven't even started even recording, doing like photo book reviews, what people wanted me to do, but I'll get to that eventually, I don't know when, but I should do them soon. <laughs> so, until next video guys, and also keep looking forward to Ruka's 48 day challenges, she's on day, she did day 22 today, so she still has, uh, 26 more days left so continue to watch that guys as some of her decision or choices are quite interesting i'm not gonna lie um and until the next video it's probably gonna be a news video probably this sunday if i'm not mistaken unless something else happens which is probably gonna happen next sunday um we're probably going to do another news video, just quick news video, or discussing stuff. 
So until then, see you guys.